big congratulations to last week's winner, Comic Fam. They won by commenting, liking, and subscribing. We're talking engagement. We're talking about the comic books that nearly made our hot 10. Enjoy. Another week, another list. Broadcasting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth with Gem from Gem and Collectibles. How are you feeling, my brother? I'm feeling great, man. If you guys were wondering where are those monster sales that we heard about last week, they weren't on the Hot 10. They're probably here in the honorable mentions. Hit that subscribe. Slap that like. We got a giveaway on deck. Starting out the list at number 10 with All American Comics, issue number 17. We're talking a Golden Age book, the second appearance of the Green Lantern. We're talking Alan Scott, who has been utilized in recent DC Comics. We have a CGC 8.5. This book sold for $1,745 back in 2005, and it's up 493%, now selling for $10,350. Whether it be because of James Tynan the Fourth or the slate of Green Lantern heroes that are bound for HBO Max, Alan Scott is here to stay. Spike in numbers by the week at the list at number nine. Amazing Spider Man. Number 11, the second appearance of Dr. Otto Octavius. Alfred Molina confirmed this past week. Don't blame us. Collectors are out there buying second appearances, and we're just reporting on the numbers. Dr. Octopus is the talk of the town, and his first appearance might be a little too expensive, but we got a CGC 9.0, a book that sold for $5,000 in 2012. It's up 630%, now selling for $36,500. You could buy a car for that much. That's right, and you can buy a Spidey Tracer for that amount of money, which is the first time that that technology was utilized in comics so that Peter Parker could track Dr. Octopus at the list at number eight. We have another Golden Age goodie. We have Ghostly Weird Stories 122. Man, we might have to get the guru on to talk about this one. I'm not really familiar with the book. I know it's a classic sci-fi cover by L.B. Cole, and we got to talk about this CGC 8.0. The book sold for $920 way back in 2003. It's up 1,351%, now selling for $13,350. L.B. Cole goodness. The color work, the vibrance, the violence, the death in space, the death ship. This is a prime example of demonstrating how far the Golden Age collectible game has come in nearly two decades at the list at number seven. We're talking Marvel Family, issue number one. Another Golden Age book making the list, the first appearance and origin of Black Adam, plus the Marvel family themselves. We know The Rock is starring as Black Adam in this upcoming movie. Tom, I remember you actually broke the news during DC Fandom. Anyway, we have this huge record-breaking sale. This book in a CGC 9.0, a Golden Age book in a 9.0, sold for $2,000 back in 2006. It's up 2,000%, now selling for $42,000. 42k comic fam get ready because black adam is about to shake stuff up we also have adam smasher we have hawkman we got cyclone coming and at the list at number six we got nick fury leading it all right guys now the next couple of books are books that we've never discussed books that have never made these lists and they've just come to market for the first time coming in at number six we're talking nick fury agents of shield issue 16 which is a reprint book it reprinted strange tales 136 through 138 and we're talking about a cgc 9.8 we're talking about only six copies graded at 9.8 in existence for this classic book. And this short Silver Age series of only 18 issues is one that collectors revere and attempt to complete. And when a 9.8 came to market this week, it blew the minds across the board. We have a 9.8 new high sale record for the first time ever of $2,988. And it didn't stop there. At the list at number five, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., issue number 10, only one graded at 9.8 on the census to date. And when it hit the market, it sold for more than the prior number on the list, selling for $3,600. Yeah, that makes sense being that it's the only one in existence. Number four on the list, we're talking another rare book, Comics Journal 89. This is an early printed image of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo only, and an advertisement promoting the TMNT number one issue that would debut in 1984. 
Now, there is no prior recording of a 9.8 sale of this book. And when one came to market this week, members hunted for it. We have a 9.8 record set at $3,100 this week. At the list of number three, the ghost comics aren't stopping anytime soon. We have a Brave and the Bold 57 that came to market this week. First appearance of Metamorpho. A 9.8 came to market and sold quick, selling for $12,027 this week. If you want to support what we do, hit the link in the description or go to ComicTom101.com. The September Mystery Mail Call is in an active enrollment, and we are sending out one per box, Trial of Magneto. Cover art done by Raph Grissetti, the art director of God of War. We have a gorgeous Logan cover. For the first time since we started doing Marvel exclusives, we will be sending virgin copies out at random, not both, one or the other, link in the description or hit Comic Time 101. And let's talk about some Hulk goodness. We recently talked about Incredible Hulk issue two, which is the first appearance of the Hulk in his green skin. And now we have number three in the honorable mention. So the third appearance of the Hulk, the second appearance of Hulk with the green skin, and this first ever CGC 9.6, which sold for $28,750. Woo, hot damn comic fam. A lot of sales this week. Utilize code Tom101 on the best comic app in existence. Keeping track of all this comic goodness for you. We're talking key collector comics available on both Androids and iPhones. Support what we do, but get access to a wealth of knowledge. Better your comic book hunt, your collecting, your specking, and your reading. And at the list at number one, the book that almost made its way on our hot 10 list, but because it only had one record breaker, because it was a monster sale, it's leading the list this week. We have Amazing Spider-Man 361, a 9.9. Now, guys, you may have seen the video that I did on an Amazing Spider-Man 361 9.9 with six covers. So the funny thing about those auction houses, they don't keep the historical record, which is really why you should be subscribed to this channel. Hit the like button and hit the bell to get notifications as well. But back in the day, 2017, my boy Sly Shadow on Instagram let me know of this find that he found. This ASM 361, it had six covers. He didn't know if it was fake or not. I'll let you go watch the video. But the sad thing thing is that that book sold an auction of November 2017 for just $8,600. And here we are today, a CGC 9.9. .9. It doesn't say if it's the sex tuple cover or not. I'm assuming it's just a regular one cover. This sold for $52,000 with no prior record of a 9.9 .9 for sale. I hope Sly Shadow's not seeing this. Comic fam, what do you think about these record breakers? Let me know in the comment section below to answer you to win a copy of Batman Detective Number 1. Cover art done by Raph Grissetti. A lonely 2800 printed and distributed. We appreciate your time today. Hit the like, slap the subscribe, and as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Comic fam, we got two other videos for you to check out. Pick either one. You know, the bottom one, the top one, the top one, or the bottom one. I'll let you decide. You're welcome. Have a great week.